let's spy with my little eye something that begins with M. Mm. 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 Ma. 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 Oh, I say, well done, sir. Your turn. I spy with my bored little eye something beginning with T. Breakfast. What? My breakfast always begins with tea. And I have a little sausage, and I have a little egg with some little soldiers. Baldrick, when I said it began with a tea, I was talking about a letter. Nah, it never begins with a letter. The postman don't come to a 10.30. I can't go on with this. George, take over. All right, sir. Um, I spy with my little eye something beginning with R. Army. For God's sake, Baldrick, he's not looking for something that begins with A, he's looking for something that begins with R. Rrrr. Motorbike. What? Motorbike begins with R. Rrrr. Right, 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 right. My turn again. What begins with come here and ends with ow? I don't know. Come here. Ow. No, <laughs> I don't think you've quite got the hang of this game, sir. To be honest, I'll tell you what, let's try another one. Um, I hear with my little ear uh, something beginning with uh, B. What? Bomb. I can't hear a bomb. Listen very carefully. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Finished! Oh, oh, come on then. Uh, all right, uh, and then you can tell me what you think, but be honest now. <laughs> I will. All right, all right then. Um, Dear Uncle H, uh, how are you? <laughs> hey, it's rather good, isn't it? It's rather good. Yeah. Uh, it's beastly rotten luck uh, being laid up here, but everyone's very, very nice, and uh, at least now I can write to you every day. Uh, oh, and then I've put a little silly bit about... Uh, what? What? Oh, no, no, no. It's, uh, oh, well, come on. Uh, and, the, and the nurse is an absolute peach. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Um, and anyway, after the explosion, uh, Captain Blackadder was marvellous. He joked and joked, you lucky, lucky, lucky bastard, he cried. Uh, then he lay on his back, stuck his foot over the trump of the trench and shouted, over here, Fritz, what about me? What about me? Well, Captain Blackie does indeed sound a most witty and courageous chap. Yes, he's very amusing and brave as well. Uh, not to mention he's as clever as a chap with three heads. <sighs> oh, oh. Thanks very much ever so much. You really are so terribly kind, as well as being dashed pretty to boot. <laughs> oh, dear. A fluffy pillow and a big cheery smile is the least my lovely boys deserve. Now, you take a little trip to Dozyland. You've got visitors coming and we don't want you to be all tired and cross, do we? Oh, absolutely not, no. It'll be so jolly to see Baldrick and the cap again. They'll be worried sick about me, you know. Right, where is the malingering git? Hello, cap. Pip, pip, Baldur's here I lie. Nice to see the lieutenant looking so well, sir. Of course he's looking well. There's nothing wrong with him. <gasps> Didn't I tell you the captain was a super cove? You did! Well, Captain, you are indeed fortunate to have a loyal friend like darling Georgie. Mm, I think you're under a slight misapprehension here, Nurse. I lost closer friends than dear Georgie uh, the last time I was deloused. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got better things to do than exchange pleasantries with a wet blanket. Would you get out? We've got important military business. Well, ten minutes only then. Okay, Portface, where's the grub? Pardon? Come on. The moment your collection of inbred mutants that you call relatives heard you were sick, they would have sent you a hamper the size of Westminster Abbey. My family is not inbred. Come on, somewhere outside Sackton Warden, there's an uncle who's seven feet tall with no chin and an Adam's apple that makes him look as though he's constantly trying to swallow a bullcock. I've not got any uncles like that. Anyway, he lives on Walton on the nose. Well, exactly. Now, where's the tuck? Well, there were one or two things. Yes, there were uh, a potted turkey, uh, a, a jelly, uh, a, f a free tin sheep and uh, 1,200 chocolates, but uh, uh, in my weakened state, I go... Uh, I eat them. What? 
Well, there's very nibbled a trotter or two, but uh, oh, Kat, she's such a wonderful girl. Uh, she helps me with all, all my letters. She can do all the German spelling. And she's terribly good at the punctuation. I don't care if she can sing I am the tiny chimney sweep, but I've got an enormous brush. Come on, Baldrick. The only thing we're going to get around here for free is dysentery. But, sir, I haven't given the lieutenant my flowers yet. All right, hurry up, hurry up. Here you go, sir. I got these for you. Unfortunately, they've had their heads shot off. Whereas some say it with flowers, Baldrick says it with stalks. Well, Captain, you have to leave us now. Oh, really? Yes. You have to must report to General Melchett immediately. Oh, great. In another tempting opportunity for suicide, beckons. Gosh, I wish I could come with you, you know, sir. Oh, no. You must take care, my brave hero. Brave hero, nurse. I was more wounded the last time I clipped my toenails. Take no notice of him. Yes, take no notice of the nasty man. Look, if you if I can't give my brave boys a kind word and a big smile, what can I give them? Well, two ideas do suggest themselves, but you probably think they were unhygienic. <sighs> Come on, Baldrick. Hello. What's your name? My name is Mr. Smith. Well. I'm sorry that you've been uh, landed opposite a total git, Mr. Smith. It's bad enough to be wounded without having to share a ward with a banana brain. Danke schön, danke schön. Ich bin ganz kompletes. Yes. Hello. Right, spread them. It's clear, sir. Can someone tell me what exactly is going on? Security, Blackadder. Security? Security isn't a dirty word, Blackadder. Crevice is a dirty word, but security isn't. So in the name of security, sir, everyone who enters this room has to have their bottom fondled by this drooling pervert. Only doing my job, Blackadder. Ah, well, how lucky you are then that your job is also your hobby. Now there's another dirty word. Job. Sir, uh, is there something the matter? You're damn right there is something the matter. And what's worse is it's going on right here under my very nose. Sir, your moustache is lovely. What the general means, Blackadder, is there's a leak. Now, leak is a positively disgusting word. The Germans are seem to be able to anticipate our every move. We send up an airplane, there's a jerry squadron parked behind the nearest cloud. We move troops to Munchen, the Germans have bought the whole town supply of lavatory paper. In short, a German spy has given away every one of our battle plans. You look surprised, Blackadder. I certainly am, sir. I didn't realise we had a battle plan. But of course we have. How else do you think the battles are directed? Our battles are directed, sir. Well, of course they are, Blackadder. Directed according to the grand plan. Well, would that be the plan to continue with the total slaughter until everyone's dead except Phil Marshall Haig, Lady Haig, and their tortoise, Alan? Great Scott! You and you know it! Guard! Guard! Built all the doors! Hammer large pieces of crooked wood against all the windows! This security link is far worse than we imagined! So you see, Blackadder, Phil Marshall Haig is most anxious to eliminate all these German spies! Filthy Hun weasels fighting their dirty underhand war! Unfortunately, one of our spies, splendid fellows, brave heroes, risking life and limb for Blighty, has discovered that the leak is coming from the field hospital. You think there's a German spy in the hospital? I think you might be right there. Your job, Blackadder, is to root this spy out. How long do you think you'll need? Oh, uh... You'll have to be away from the trenches for some time. Oh, uh, six months. Blackadder, you've got three weeks. Yes, three weeks to smoke the bugger out. Use any method you see fit. Personally, I'd recommend you get a hold of a cocker spaniel, tie your suspect down on a chair with a potty on his head, then pop his todger between two flowery baps and shout, Dinner time, Fido. However, if you are successful, I shall need you back here permanently to head up our new security network, Operation Winkle. Winkle? Yes, to winkle out the spies. You never mentioned this to me, sir. Well, we have to have our secrets now, don't we, darling? Right, well, I'll be back in three weeks. Excellent. And if you come back with the information, Captain Darling will pump you thoroughly in the debriefing room. Not while I have my strength, he won't. Damnation, sir! His insolence makes my blood boil. 
Once more, I don't trust him, sir. I think it would be better if I went to the hospital myself to keep an eye on him. What, spy on our own spy as he searches for their spy? Yes, why not? Sounds rather fun. You'll have to go undercover. Oh, definitely, sir. You'll need some sort of wound, a convincing wound. Naturally, sir. Yes. Oh! Yes, that looks quite convincing. Right, pack my toothbrush, Baldrick. We're going on holiday. Hooray! Where to? It, hospital. Oh no, I hate hospitals. My grandfather went into one, and when he came out, he was dead. He was also dead when he went in, Baldrick. He'd been run over by a traction engine. I don't like them doctors. If they start poking around inside me... Baldrick, why would anyone want to poke around inside you? They might find me interesting. Baldrick, I find the Great Northern Metropolitan Sewage System interesting. That doesn't mean that I want to put on some rubber gloves and pull things out of it with a pair of tweezers. Still, I tell you what, you might have a chance to get to know that pretty nurse. No thank you, Baldrick. She's as wet as a fish's wet bits. I'd rather get to know you. I'm not available, sir. I'm waiting for Miss Wright to come along and gather me up in her arms. Yes, well, I wouldn't be too hopeful. Gonna have to get her arms out of a straight jacket first. Now get packing. So very interesting. Please do continue. Right, then I go on to say the orders came through to us advance at 0800 hours in a pizza movement. Gosh, how exciting. Yes, well, hmm. Afternoon, George. Oh, hello, Cap. Ah, oh, Captain. I hope you're going to conduct yourself with a little more decorum this time. No, I'm going to conduct myself with no decorum. Shut off. <gasps> Jawool, Herr Kapitan, Jawool. So, Cap, what's going on? Well, there's a German spy in the hospital, and it's my job to find him. A ju- Well, snakes alive! Exciting stuff, eh? Wait a minute, I think I might have a plan already. What is it? Well, have a look through the list of patients and see if there's anyone here whose name begins with Vaughn. Well, it's always bound to be a bloke. I think we may find he's using a false name, sadly, George. Oh, crikey, well that's hardly fair now, is it? I, too, have a cunning plan to help catch the spy, sir. Do you, Baldrick? Do you? You go round the hospital and ask everyone, are you a German spy? Yes, I must say, Baldrick, I appreciate your involvement on the creative side. If it was me, I'd own up. Of course you would. But sadly, the enemy has not added to the German army entrance form the requirement must have the intellectual capacity of a boiled potato. Now, Baldrick, see that man over there? Yeah? I want you to stick with him like a limpet and uh, make sure he doesn't leave the hospital. Yes, sir. Oh, hello, darling. What are you doing here? Bullet in the foot. Well, I can't stand people in the front trying to shoot themselves in the foot, but uh, when you're 35 miles behind the line... I did not shoot myself. The general did it. Well, finally got fed up of you, did he? No, it was a mistake. Oh, he was uh, aiming for your head. He wasn't aiming for anything. Oh, so he was going between your legs, eh? Very funny, Blackadder. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face if you don't find this spy. Don't you worry, darling. I intend to start interviewing suspects immediately. This is a completely ridiculous, Blackadder. You can't suspect me, I've only just arrived. The first rule of counter espionage, darling, is to suspect everyone. Believe me, I shall be asking myself some pretty searching questions later on. Now tell me, what is the colour of the Queen of England's favourite hat? How the hell should I know? I see. Right, well let me ask you another question. What is the name of the German head of state? Well, Kaiser Wilhelm, obviously. Ah, so on first name terms with the Kaiser, are we? What did you expect me to say? Darling, darling, shh, shh. Cigarette? Thank you. Alright, you sticky piece of crap! I beg your pardon? Shut up, Sonny, I know you. Tell me, Von Darlin, what was it that finally won you over, eh? The pump and nickel? Or was it the fall of hanging around with big men in leather shorts? I'll have you caught marshals for this black adder. What, for obeying the General's orders? That may be what you do in Munich, or should I say Munchen, but not here, Werner. You're a filthy Hun spy, aren't you? Baldrick the Conquer Spaniel, please! Oh, uh, no! No, no, wait! No, look! 
I'm engaged! I was born in Croydon! I was educated in a primary school here! I've got a girlfriend called Doris! I know the words of all three verses, I've got to save the king! Four verses! Four verses! Four verses! I mean four verses! Look! I was British as Queen Victoria! Ah, so your father's German, you're half German, and you married a German? <laughs> no, no! Look, for God's sake, I'm a German spy! Ah, good. Thank you very much. Send in the next man, would you? What is all this noise about? Don't you realise this is a hospital? You'll regret this, Blackadder. You'd better find a real spy or I'll make it very hard for you. Please, darling, there's ladies present. Well, well, Captain Blackadder. This is an unexpected pleasure. What? Nice to have you back with us. A spy catcher, eh? Hm. That silly kid George was right. You all are a bally hero. Wait a minute, I thought you liked George. That's just my bedside manner. What I call my fluffy bunny act. So you're not a trip after all? Oh no. So, Mr. Spycatcher, how's it going? Well, not much luck so far. I think he might be as difficult to find as a piece of hay and a massive stack full of needles. So, you're going to be around for quite a while then? Looks like it. Good, because uh, it can get pretty lonely around here, you know. God, it's nice to have someone healthy to talk to. Cigarette? No, thank you. I only smoke cigarettes after making love. So, uh, back in England, I'm a 20 a day man. A man should smoke. It acts as an expectorant and gives his voice a deep, crabbly, masculine tone. God, I love nurses. They're so disgustingly clinical. Tell me, Captain Blackadder. Edmund. Edmund. When this war is over, do you think we might get to know each other a little better? Yes, why not? When this madness is finished, perhaps we could go cycling together. Take a trip down to the old Swan and, and Henley and go for a walk in the woods. Yes, or we could just do it right now on the desk. Yeah, okay. Ah, Baldry, have you seen Nurse Mary? I need someone to uh, post this letter. She's in the office with the captain, sir. Ah, oh, poor girl, tied to her desk day and night. Ah, oh, Cat, I hear you've been seeing a lot of Nurse Mary. Yes, almost all of her, in fact. How is she, sir? Unbelievable. What I really want to know is, uh, are you any closer to finding the spy? Yes, I think I'm getting there, George. Everything all right, Mr. Smith? Oh, yeah, excellent, excellent. Jolly good. Smithy, you haven't seen any suspicious characters hanging around, have you? Who might be German spies? Nine. Nine? Well, the cap's got his work cut out for him then. Tell me, Edmund, do you have someone special in your life? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Who? Me. No, I mean someone you love, cherish, and want to keep safe from all the horror and the hurt. Um, still me, really. No, but back home in England. There must be someone waiting. Some sweetheart? Oh, a girl. Nah. I've always been a soldier. Married to the army. The Book of King's Regulations is my mistress. Possibly with a Harrods lingerie catalogue discreetly tucked between the pages. And no uh, casual girlfriends? Skirt. Ha. If only. When I joined up, we were still fighting colonial wars. If you saw someone in a skirt, you shot him and nicked his country. What about you? Have you got a man, some fine fellow in an English country village? A vicar, maybe. Quiet, gentle, hung like a baboon. There was a man I cared for a while. Wonderful chap. Strong, athletic. What happened to him? He bought it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realise that was the arrangement. Uh, so what's it been? Uh, Twelve nights, let's say, nine afternoons, how much is... Uh, oh, and a couple of mornings. I mean, he died. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. He was test driving one of those new tank contraptions, and the bloody thing blew up. Oh, what a waste. God, I hope they scrapped a lot. Ha! <laughs> Fat chance. It's going to be 40 of them next week at... Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry, mustn't talk. You never know who might be listening. <laughs> no, of course. Oh, God, I miss him so much. He was such a wonderful chap. Clever, too, I expect. Oh, brilliant. Went to one of the great universities, I suppose. Oxford, Cambridge, Hull. 
Hmm. But why are we making small talk when we could be making big love? Good point. This could be our last chance. My three weeks are up. I'm going back to Staff HQ tomorrow. Look, why don't you come with me? It could be fun. We could have supper or something. How about something first and then supper? Good idea! Ah, hello, Black Alan! <clears throat> Good morning, sir. Uh, may I introduce Nurse Fletcher Brown? She's been very supportive during my work at the hospital. How do you do, young lady? Mm -hmm. uh, do sit down. So, any news of the spy, Blackadder? Yes, sir. Excellent. The Germans seem to know every move we make. I had a letter from Jerry yesterday. It said, isn't it about time you changed your shirts, walrus face? So, you have any idea who it might be, young lady? Well, sir, I'm only a humble nurse. But I did at one point think it might be Captain Darling. Oh, bugger me with a fish fork. Oh, darling, a Jerry Morse tapper. What on earth made you suspect him? Well, he poo-pooed the captain here and said he'd never find the spy. Is this true, Blackadder? Did Captain Darling poo-poo you? Well, perhaps a little. Well then, damn it all! How much more proof do you need? The poo-pooing alone is a court-martial offence. I can assure you, sir, that the poo-pooing was purely circumstantial. Well, I hope so, Blackadder. You know, if there's one thing I've learned from being in the army, it's never ignore a poo-poo. I know a major got poo-pooed, made the mistake of ignoring the poo-poo. He poo-pooed it. Fatal error. Because it turned out all along that soldier who poo-pooed him had been poo-pooing a lot of other officers who poo-pooed their poo-poos. In the end, we had to disband the whole regiment. Morale totally destroyed by poo-poo. Yes, I think we might be drifting slightly from the point here, sir. Which is that unfortunately, and to my lasting regret, Captain Darling is not the spy. Oh, and then who the hell is? Well, sir, there is a man in a hospital with a pronounced lip and a very strong German accent. It must be him. It's obvious. Obvious, but wrong. It's not him. And why not? Because, sir, not even the Germans would be stupid enough to field a spy with a strong German accent. Well, then, who is it? Well, it's perfectly simple. It's you. Edmund! Bordrick! Explain yourself, Blackadder, before I have you shot for being rude to a lady! Right. Well, sir, the first season of suspicion was sown when Lieutenant George unwittingly revealed that she spoke German. Do you deny Nurse Fletcher Brown, or should I say Nurse Fletcher Baum, that you helped Lieutenant George with the German words in his letter? No, I did. But My suspicions were confirmed when she probed me expertly about tank movements. Oh, Edmund, how could you? After all we've been through. And then the final irrefutable proof. Remember you mentioned a clever boyfriend? Yes. I then leapt on the opportunity to test you. I asked if you had been to one of the great universities, Oxford, Cambridge or Hull. Well... You failed to spot that only two of those are great universities. You swine. That's right, Oxford's a complete dump. Well, quite. No true Englishman could have fallen into that trap. Oh, Edmund. I thought there was something beautiful between us. I thought you loved me. Nah. Take her away, Baldrick. Rouse, rouse. Well, good work, Blackadder. I better go and assemble a firing squad. Watch out, sir. Darling, what on earth do you think you're doing? I'll tell you exactly what I did, sir. I'm doing what Blackadder should have done three weeks ago. What? This is the guilty man. Darling, you're hysterical. No, sir. No, I'm not, sir. I'll ask him outright. Are you a spy? Yes, I am a spy. You see, sir? Well, of course it's a spy, darling. He's a British spy. This is Brigadier Sir Bernard Proudfoot Smith. He's the finest spy in the British Army. But he can't be, sir. He doesn't even sound British. I have been working undercover in Germany for so long that I've picked up a teensy-weensy bit of an accent. This, darling, is the man who told us that there was a German spy in the hospital in the first place. Right. Well, that's that then, Blackadder. Yes, sir. You are now head of Operation Winkle. Thank you, sir. Darling? Yes, sir? You are a complete ass. Thank you, sir. Right, Bernard. Let's go watch the firing squad. Von General. Sir, what the devil was going on? I've just seen Nurse Mary be led away by a firing squad. Nurse Mary is the spy, George. What? Now, impossible. Afraid so. Cover me with milk and flour and bake me for 14 minutes. Who'd have thought it, sir, eh? Nurse Mary, a bosh. <laughs> oh, well, 
A lot of exciting stuff to put in my next letter to my Uncle Herman in Munich. Sorry. Those letters I've been writing in the hospital to my German uncle. New information, Blackadder? George. Oh yes, well I know there's a war on, but family is family, and old Uncle Herman does so love to be kept abreast of what's going on. I even wrote and told him about old Boris Melchin and his smelly old shirts. Would you like me to tell this one to the General Blackadder? Or would you enjoy that very special moment?